Hi everyone, our video blog this week, we're here in the Byron Market. There's a pilot project that's being launched by the city. It's called the Community Engagement Team. It's in the zone of Sandy Hill, Rideau Street, Lower Town in the Byron Market. It's really meant to be the glue to bring partners together to respond to our city's growing needs in terms of social services. We are a growing city. We have challenges as it relates to housing, addictions, homelessness, encampments, and this team has a great potential of bringing us all together and, and bring forward some, some support, some sustainability, and some outreach response. So take a look, we're meeting with Kent and Lamar. And thank you so much for meeting with us in the Byron Market this morning. You're welcome. We're, we're really talking about a group of outreach, that's an official name at the city called the Community Engagement Team. We started a few months ago, we've had a number of meetings. It's important for us to really explain to the community what your team's all about and what the city's recognizing through the pandemic, but also uh, now as, uh, as we're heading into the summer. Yeah. Um, the community engagement team is, is a, a response to what I consider long-term systemic problems within the community around homelessness, um, uh, lack of employment for, for, for people, um, but also an engagement with community residents. Those are housed, um, also to give a business as well some of their concerns are within the community, you know, and that's how we can respond to those things locally as a city, as a city as one team. I've seen uh, through the pandemic the social services, recreational, Ottawa Public Health really come together as we to create uh, new efforts, the Despite Centers, the Drop-In Centers, and I think it's a nice thing into uh, your role and into the team. Can you share with us, for those that all might not have seen the an effort throughout the pandemic that's really led to a unique opportunity in this point in time. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been interesting to see how the city has adapted to, to, the, to the pandemic and, and the needs that were, that were created because of it. Um, and then it's also taken the opportunity for us to, to, to become you know, more engaged in our community but to be much more responsive because we're here. city with that comes 
and there was also growing challenges around housing, addictions, mental health. What are some of the tools that, um, so far, you see that beyond being the blue and having those conversations, uh, you, you feel that we have this? It's like, I know oh, there's, there's opportunities that you see we've talked about it, but is there, is there some bright lights that you're seeing? There are many bright lights. Okay, I, I, yeah, no, I'm, I'm extremely excited about the opportunity that, that's, that's been presented. Because the entire community is engaged, the entire community has the answers to respond to. I don't pretend to be the smartest person here. There are a lot of people out there who are much smarter than me. We depend on them. We depend on our community to come together to bring the answers. So we can figure out how we are. We as a community, all of us. It's exciting. It's exciting. I know the community is ready. I know that also with your presence and everybody 